Hello everybody, it's Akatrios here and I welcome you to my very first voice video on my channel! Yeah! Kinda something like that. Yes. Well, I'm kinda hyped and that's why I'm making this video. It may seem like I'm not very hyped at all, but that could be because I had a bad day today, but yesterday was awesome! Two certain cards were announced yesterday and those cards are just so awesome that I had to make this video now. Well, I'm of course talking about uh, The Secret of Eternity, which got the, its last um, yeah, reveals and two cards and you will know which I mean if you know a bit of about Secret of Eternity two cards are just blowing my mind are just making me really really happy and those cards are Saturnite Capella and Saturnite Regal two new guns in our repertoire two new cards for Saturnite in the main deck well I'm gonna read out what they can do first Saturnite Capella it's a level 4 light warrior type monster Got 1180 k and 2000 defense. The effect is you can only use the effect of Satellite Capella once per turn. When this card is normal, flip or special summon, you can activate this following effect. This turn, if you would exceed summon a monster using three or more monsters of exceed materials, you can treat all level 4 or lower Telonite monsters you control as level 5 of the summons. The second card, Regal. It's also a for light and warrior type as every single subtitle knight. And got 1980 k and 700 death. And its effect is you can only use the effect of Satellite Knight Regal once a turn. And this card is now a flip or special summon. You can target one Satellite Knight monster of the field. That monster gains 580k and is sent to the graveyard during, during the end phase. Yeah, those are the two new cards. And you may think. Um, both cards are kind of name uh, in popularization to to the others to the main engine of Deneb, Vega, and Alair and Uruk, but they are kind of very useful because Capella is useful in terms of bringing that Constant Knight Diamond out in the main phase one. He can only um, get overlaid on a Stellar Knight uh, on a Stellar Knight Exceed monster at main phase two, and. It's also cool to summon Hard Earth or Dick Bozak with that card, I guess, and we'll have to give it a try. And I, I will want to really say that Capella would be awesome at one in the deck because it's searchable and recyclable and everythingable. It is just a card who synergizes with the archetype in terms of bringing out rank fibers. And that is cool. That is really, really cool. I like that. Regal is basically a card which is designed to attack El Shadol Midrash because it got 100, uh, 1900 uh, attack and can boost himself by another 500 which makes him to have a 2 4 beater which is 100 more than a, um, yeah, than a Midrash has and unless the Shadol player got Vendigo on the field as well the Midrash is getting, yeah, stomped over by the Regal on its own. And one card out to Midrash. What we needed. Because Midrash is kind of fucking us, and you know that, I guess. Well, yeah. And I'll play Capella once in my main, and Regal once in my, in my side deck. Well, that's kind of it. You have to think about those cards yourself. I can just say that Capella will be awesome in main deck for rank 5ers and Regal will be awesome to run over certain nasty cards of enemies, so decide yourselves and here. Yeah. Maybe we see enough, uh, each other another time when I have another topic to talk about. I at first I wanted to talk about something different, but as I saw that card yesterday, I wasn't able to hope myself anymore, and I had to make this. So, yeah, this were 5 minutes 
perfectly enough to show off two new cards perfectly enough to get you a bit informed about the satellite archetype and it's two new cards so that was it I'm finished yeah that was a try stay ravened goodbye see ya and whatever you say to your friend if you gonna say bye well yeah